Welcome back, everybody. We got another segment of Ask Alex here, and I got a special guest, uh, our chief compliance officer right here at Fogoth Financial Group, Mark Ziegler. And Mark, I wanted to bring you in today. Uh, Mark is an absolute wealth of information when it comes to compliance, hence our CCO. Um, we've been getting a lot of information, and over the years, I've gotten a ton of questions about, Alex, what do I do about all these data breaches? What do we do to protect our information, the cybersecurity issues? And so I thought there was nobody better than Mark himself to come in and talk about that. So Mark, you know, with these data breaches, the cyber email attacks, all this stuff, you know, is this something we need to be concerned about? Are there best practices that people can start doing to protect yeah. themselves? So I wouldn't say people should be concerned, right? We don't want to cause alarm and panic. You know, concern is not the right word. What you want to be is aware. Best thing you can do with cybersecurity and cyber defense is just being aware of what's going on, right? You're getting emails, you know, especially nowadays, you're getting emails from a lot of people you've never even heard of, right? right? right. Getting retail, you're getting just random people. The best thing you can do, right? First of all, be your own advocate. When it comes to cyber defense, you're the best person that knows who you should be talking to, who you should be receiving things from, right? Amen. So, I want to talk really quickly about spoofing. It's a term you may have heard, okay. right? Okay. So, spoofing is the most prevalent form of cyber manipulation right now. Okay. What spoofing is, when you get an email and it looks like it's from a friend or somebody you know, it'll just show their name, right? But you're reading the email, it doesn't make a ton of sense. It's right. kind of got capitalized letters where they shouldn't be. Yep. Click on that name and I guarantee you're going to see an email address you've never seen before. Okay. Right? Okay. And it's going to be a bunch of combination of letters, numbers from a domain like Gmail you've never heard of, right? Okay. Keep an eye on that. Be your own best self-advocate. You know, you want to be aware of what's going on. But again, don't be concerned, be aware, right? It's right. the best thing you can be as well. Right, I like that. And, and one of the other things I was thinking about, so, so first and foremost, being aware of who should be and should not be contacting you. Yep. Number two, you get an email and hey, it looks like it's one of your friends or your family members, but you click on the name in the email and then you get the whole address behind it, right? And that's the, the spoofing that that's we gotta be spoofing. aware of. Okay. You got it. Um, yep. Now this is a big one I've gotten more recently, right? You know, you could go to the, the big three bureaus for credit, right? Yep. You could go to any financial, Kroger, Walmart, whoever it is, these data breaches. Oh yeah. Can you talk to me a little bit about that yeah. and maybe help educate, you know, our community on what that looks like Absolutely. And, and how to navigate that? Yeah, so data breaches are becoming more and more common, right? We live in a more digital world. You know, data is out there. That is the new currency. It's data, right? right. Money's important, but data is even more, right? So when we see all these data breaches coming out from insurance companies, from the credit reporting agencies, from Ford Motor Company, right? Anybody, right? right. They're all getting hacked right now. Uh, these breaches themselves are usually in the form of ransomware. Okay. So when you hear ransomware, right? Ransom, they're hacking into a system, they're taking data, holding it hostage, okay. right? You're gonna pay us in Bitcoin, we're gonna give it back. Okay. From a client perspective, right. or from a consumer perspective, the best thing you can do if you have been notified you're part of a data breach, freeze your credit, contact the three credit bureaus. It's very easy to do, you can go to their websites and it's click of a button. Right? You can make sure with your bank, look at your accounts, right. make sure everything's solid there. You can create security pins for all of your investment accounts, bank accounts, credit cards. You can create security pins. So again, be your own self-advocate, get out there, try to get ahead of it. Yeah, and, and I know some things that I've done personally, because I've had some fraud take place on, on actually some of my accounts. Mm -hmm. And I've put in you know, the, the two-step verifications, yep. right? Where you can elect to do that, and now they're sending your phone a text, right? Yep. And some of these, so that's good stuff on the ransomware. Anything else you would add? Because the, the last question I was gonna ask you, Mark, was more around like any best practices or tips that maybe we haven't gotten into a talk that would be kind of low hanging fruit for family. Yeah, so number one is keeping your systems up to date. Okay. Right, so how often have you, if you're looking at your phone, you get that pop up, it's right. like, hey, make sure you update your software, right? right? My right. wife's notorious, right. she right. clicks ignore, or I'll do it later, and we're two years later, right. and now she's way out of deal, yeah. right? Update those things. Keep your softwares, keep your devices, your cell phones, your tablets, your computers, keep everything up to date. Okay. That's the biggest thing because all of those changes include security fixes, right? They're bug fixes. So that's number one. You want to keep everything up to date as much as possible. Passwords. Okay. Biggest thing too. So if you've been involved with the data breach or even if you just want to be proactive, every 90 to 120 days, change your passwords. Right. Multi-factor authentication, those kind of text message verifications, right? super helpful, super secure, highly recommend them. Okay. At minimum, change your passwords. Okay. 
All right, and, that, and actually, funny you say that. That was the number one reason why I ended up getting hacked. I hadn't changed my password on my home computer for, you know, it sits on my desk at home. I barely That's... use it, probably six years. And, and then, you know, boom, that it all happened. So um, I appreciate it, Mark. Sure. This is all good stuff. One thing I definitely want to encourage out to you, you know, our community, our, our clients, our families out there that support us and, and are and intertwined with us. If you have questions, if you have concerns around this subject, reach out to us. This is what we're here for. Uh, if you have additional questions, please reach out to me. I'm probably going to steer you right <laughs> back to Mark, the yeah. expert on this subject. So, uh, number one, Mark, thank you for doing this with me. Happy to do it. And uh, God bless you. We'll see you next time on Ask Alex. Thanks so much.